This is Unit 1, Science and Technology. Behave and act like a scientist. You too can work like a scientist and use the scientific method to learn about things around you. You only need an inquisitive mind and clear logical thinking. For example, suppose your torch stops working. You encounter a problem. How to repair the torch? So there is a problem like a scientific method. You need to have a problem. You do not know much about how a torch works. So you collect information by reading books or consulting an adult or an electrician. You find out that the torch contains cells that provide electric current, a bulb that lights up when the current is passed through it, a switch that turns the current on and off, and connecting wires inside the torch. You then Think of the possible reasons for the defect of the torch. You may think of any of these reasons. There are no cells in the torch. The cells have run out. The bulb has fused. The switch is not working properly or some wire inside, uh, some wire inside has broken. All these are hypotheses. To check which hypothesis is correct, you will need to make observations and carry out certain experiments. Number one, check if the cells are there in the torch. If not, your hypothesis one is correct. Put the cells. Number two, if the cells are present, Take them out and put in new ones. If the torch now lights up, hypothesis 2 is correct. Check the bulb. If the coiled wire inside it is broken, hypothesis 3 is correct. Change the bulb. If none of the hypotheses 1, 2 or 3 is proved correct, then there must be something wrong with the switch or the wires. You may however realize that you do not have the expertise or to repair or change the switch or wires. You then decide that if you, you then decide that it is better to get the expert help of an electrician for repairing the torch. If you follow the step-by-step -step -step scientific method, chances are that you will be able to make the torch work again by yourself and also learn how it works. The next time you encounter the same problem, it will be easier for you to solve. In the same way, scientific methods make scientific investigations easier. And uh, after this reading, you have an activity which we have already done in the class. You need to do this activity time. This is the same one. Your pen isn't working. So what are you going to do? And you need scientific method to solve it. Like we have already solved the problem. Torch. Now our torch is working. So what could be the problem? How you are going to fix your pen?